Hi there, and today I'm modifying this year's Blacktron Cruiser set. Now I've only ever owned two sets which have anything to do with Blacktron. The first one was a Christmas present that I got back in 1991, which was the Allied Avenger. However, this was um, officially from the Blacktron 2 theme. So the minifigures were quite different. They looked like this as opposed to the all in black uh, minifigures that came in the original Blacktron series. The other one is an original Blacktron minifigure, but officially a reissue of that, which was in a 2012 minifig pack, which was a Toys R Us exclusive here in the UK. And being a big classic space fan, when it was announced that the Blacktron Cruiser was going to be a gift with purchase in the beginning of this year, I was really pleased. So when I was in the Leicester Square store on January the 1st, I spent enough money to manage to get the Blacktron Cruiser as a gift with purchase. Now I think this is a great remake of a classic Blacktron set. Um, I like the way they've made it a little bit more sleeker. They've got this new long, thin uh, yellow canopy and these wings at the side are much longer and thinner as well. Even down to the robot, they've made that very similar but using modern pieces. And it's also great that all the three segments can come apart. The only real downer of the set that I can see is that all these logos are actually stickers, whereas in the original set, they were printed pieces. But even that negative point, I've managed to turn into a positive, as I've already managed to get two extra sticker sheets, which I'll be using in my next video. So I'm gonna open it up, have a quick build, and then make a modification. And if you go on to like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and of course, click the subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of more LEGO videos. But on to the build. So as a gift with purchase, I think this set really doesn't disappoint at all. I'm just going to have a quick look at some of the points that I really like and some of the few things that I'm not so keen on. Firstly, I really like how they've updated this set and made these side wings a lot more thinner and sleeker than the original. Also, when the original photos came out, I didn't realise that they were on hinges, but um, you can see that they can swoop back to make more of a wing formation or go into this more forward position. Also, as the ship's in this kind of modular design, they've done this clever system where as you pop each one apart, instead of using Technic pins, they've used these pieces with bars inside them and then put clips on the other part so each part can just clip together and that's much easier to take apart than it would have been if you'd, they'd used uh, Technic pins and Technic bricks. And as they've used the same connection points on all the different parts, it means you can take the middle sort of cargo section out and shorten the vehicle completely and make a much more sleek fighter as opposed to a cargo vehicle. Now I really like the idea of this central cargo pod, however I'm not too keen on the build. The top part here folds up and this is actually built uh, studs upside down so the studs are facing this way and these are inverted tiles on the top here. Um, that folds up and down quite nicely however the flag pieces are only held on using these Technic claw pieces which are actually going through the back of headlight bricks so if they aren't aligned completely correctly they can snag on the top piece and they come off very easily um, as long as you keep them in their correct orientation though they fold out quite nicely 
Ah, I said <laughs> they do, but like I said, they do fall off quite easily. Um, and then you've got space inside for that letterbox piece, which sits inside there as the cargo. And that mailbox cargo piece is an area which has caused me a slight confusion. I always presumed the Blacktron logo went this way up with the point facing downwards. However, in the instructions, it tells you to put the sticker on the car mailbox piece this way up. So I'm not sure if I've been wrong all these years or if the instructions are slightly wrong and this should actually be the other way up. Now if you've watched some of my other videos you may well know that I am all about the minifigures so I'm really pleased that there's another reissue of the uh, traditional Blacktron 2 minifigure. I think the printing on him is a little bit sharper than that used to be back in the day. Um, I presume that's just from modern printing techniques. However the real highlight is that for the first time ever a Blacktron minifigure has back printing. So this is what a Blacktron spaceman actually looks like on the back. He's always been plain before, but finally we've got Blacktron back printing. So just before we move on to the modification, having these two flag pieces open I think only confirms that the logo should be this way up. However, this has given me great concerns as, like I said, I've got two extra sticker sheets for my next video, um, which is going to be Blacktron based as well. So now I've got to decide whether I'm going to be sticking them point side down or point side up. Um, I guess you'll have to wait and see until the next video. But on to the modification. Now the modification isn't going to be based around the fragility of those flag pieces on the cargo section. It's going to be completely aesthetic and it's going to be based around the back engine section. Now I do really like the look of this transparent red tiles on top of the black wedge plates, however the original had transparent red wedge plates and I think that looked a lot nicer. I do like the smooth look without studs, so what we're going to do, we're going to take these black wedge plates off and replace them with some transparent red ones. Now as they don't make these anymore, these have had to be bought as used, they are pretty good condition with no major scuffs or scratches, so we're going to take the black ones off and replace them with these. there we have the converted tail section. I have to say I really like the look of this. I think it looks a lot better than with the uh, black wedge plates underneath. Just having the translucent effect of having the red uh, wedge plates underneath as well as the tiles on top. I think that looks much better. Um, I do like the studless look from the uh, sort of the newer version, but I much prefer the transparent red wedge plates from the original version. So I'm going to pop that back on and see what it looks like. So I've added it back on in the shorter version. I think I actually prefer the vehicle like this without the cargo pod. The cargo pod can be left on the lunar surface and he can fly around in his vehicle like this. Now I really like this set, I've always been a classic space fan but I've never really got into the uh, various sections like Blacktron and Futuron, however um, this has inspired me, I liked it so much I actually made a second purchase on lego.com and bought another one. So I've now got two of these and also like I said I've got the extra sticker sheets as well which are going to be um, used in my next video so comment below if you can guess what that might be. Um, if you've liked this video please do give it a thumbs up and of course please do subscribe for more LEGO videos.